anything if you don't have imports. So you can knock your head against the wall, but you won't get anything if you don't click import and pick the, the drop down menu of what you want. Uh, it might be a scanner, it might be a memory card, it might be a file in your whole batch of pictures. Uh, and because it does not make a copy, it's a tool. I want to just remind you, so you pass the test. Okay, first it takes, it takes automatically transfers everything that's in your computer into Picasa. Okay, and um, after that, one second, it automatically transfers all of the pictures if you're changing computers. Okay. And you cannot drag and drop, I've said that already. Mm -hmm. Next, next one, please. Parts of the screen. Okay, one more review. The library is here, the panel, I uh, mentioned the panel, and your editing tools are there. The large box is after you double click, you get a large box, and that's how you can change uh, and fix up pictures. Sure. And the thumbnails are in here. Now, another thing you need to know is uh, if the thumbnails are up here and you want a large picture, you have to double click. So if you single click, you're going to be sitting there like a dummy with nothing happening. <laughs> you have to double click to get it. And the slider down here will make the <coughs> thumbnails bigger or smaller. Why would you want to make your thumbnails smaller? If you want to go from album to album and maybe move one picture into a different album, if they're smaller, you can see where you're going. If they're bigger, you can see the picture better. I'm doing that. Okay. And the photo tray, you can't do anything without the photo tray, like mm -hmm. print or something. Uh, we're going to get to a little star that's over here. I don't know why it's not here now. But there's a little gold star. If you have a two-year-old or four-year-old grand or great-grandchild, and you're looking at pictures on your lap, you let them click the star, and the star will come up on the picture. It's a favorite picture. And that makes the picture uh, go to a special folder, so you can always find that special picture. And then if it's in a thumbnail, it'll have the uh, little gold star on it. And say you don't like that person after a while, or, she, or the kid does it, you just hit that car, the star again, and it kind of falls down. It's cute, and the kids love it. Well, of course, all my kids are six feet tall, and I can't put anybody on the lap anymore. <laughs> so, uh, we did the top of the screen, yep. right? Yep. Uh, the next one is how to import pictures into Picasso. According to much. Okay. Hang in there for a minute. Okay. okay. How you can learn on your own. How about if I tell you? All right, well, let me try to find What you other. want is how to import pictures into Picasso. And I think it was discussed uh, already. But you can, you can uh, review that, if you will. Yeah, we can read it right off the screen, Ada. Okay, number one. Oh, I did mention it a few times with the cable from your camera. Mm -hmm. If people still use cameras, I use my iPhone. Uh, but you can use your iPhone. You just plug it in and uh, you go to that import. Memory card reader that comes out of your camera. A lot of computers now have the slot. You can just put the memory card reader in and you're in business. Or, years ago, yeah, I'll take your question. Your yeah, question on, on importing the picture. Yes. If you have a photo in your photo album and you want to put it into Picasso, do you put it on your printer and scan it and then into Picasso? You could, you could. That would be using a device, like if you were attaching a camera or an iPhone or something. That's a device, a scanner is a device okay. and you can import it from that okay let me see what else oh here's something important that i i'll just 
wing it. Um, when, can you get a few pictures up here or, or I'll do it later? Well, I'll tell it and then I'll, I'll do try. it later. Um, when you're doing, say, six pictures, any amount of pictures, if they're consecutive, you click shift and click the first one and the last one, shift and click, and they'll all be selected. There's your pictures. Okay, so uh, click Emma here, and then let's just go over to here. They're consecutive. Shift and click over anywhere. Okay. See, they're all highlighted, and look where they went. Okay? So, you know what? If you're working with me with this, let's Let's go into uncharted territory. Okay. Go up to create. All right. And a picture collage. Down, click. And um, this is no good for. Um, let's close it. Let's okay. Close it. Uh, this one. This, card this has this has other this stuff card. that I've had on it already. So let's go. Okay. When you're really getting confused and nervous, go back to the library. So, go up to the library, click. Oh, I think we're on the We're library. already here. Oh, while I'm here, excuse me if you're changing topics, the library is arranged in two ways. Just straight down like that, where it's highlighted. Do you see the lines? And next to it, as trees. Like, see where it's indented up there? Mm -hmm. Click that. So up to the right now, up there, click. And see, they'll go in, in uh, like categories. So let's try maybe these pictures. Let's try again. Uh, no, that's no good. Well, let's try so these again. All right. Okay, so um, try Emma one click and go to the end over there, shift and click. To the end here? Anywhere. All right. See, all consecutive pictures go. Now, click anywhere in the middle here, anywhere, to un unselect on, on this okay. white part. On the white part. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you do kick, uh, click Emma again, the first one, and now alternate, alternate and click the third one. She would kill me if she knew I was showing her. What would that do? It should select the third one. If you want to jump around, you oh. use alternate and click. And it'll see that. I, use, it'll go I use control and click okay, on Windows. Okay, whatever. Thank yeah. you. Do whatever will work. But uh, you got the idea. Okay, now Laura, down here. Okay, and KA, I think, here. Okay, let's see if we can, uh, well, one or two more. Okay. Pick some Control more. and click. Okay. Try this one. Okay. And sure. this one here. Sure. Okay. Now go to create and pray a little bit and picture collage. There you go. Oh, and now I want to tell you there's six different collages. This is picture pile. So you can move these pictures around. Grab them and move it. See, if you see the double arrow, you can move it and neaten it up, or you can let one sit on the other one or whatever. Okay. And um, then, if, if you want, that's the first kind. If you want with little borders, click the middle. You can angle them. See, now you have the borders. And if you want to look like you have a Polaroid camera, I don't know why you would want to. Click that, the Polaroid choice. Okay? <laughs> All right. Now, go back up to this drop-down arrow. I'll show you the next kind of collage. This is just the mosaic. It automatically takes these pictures and picks the ones it likes best and puts them together. Click that. See? That might be a better question. Say you don't like KA today. Go up to remove and get rid of them. Pick, pick, remove. This one? Yeah, just remove it. Okay. I have to highlight. Oh, wait a minute. Got to highlight it let's first. Switch, no, let's switch KA and Emma. 
Just pull him over there. Switch this guy. Would move just, her? Yeah, just, yeah. Okay. See? So if you want to rearrange it. Mm -hmm. Or if you want them to shuffle the picture. Okay. Okay? And uh, if you want the grid space between the pictures, that's a slider. So if you want them to be separated, look. Okay? And you can make, uh, pull it over a little more. This? Yeah. And hit the color. You can make it green. There is a green mood. Or hit over here, that radio button. Come on. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh. All right. Let's, let's forget that. And then for a minute, though, uh, let's go back to the drop down for another choice. There are six or more choices of collages. So, this one is the one where I did Barry. Did you see the one with Barry in the middle and all of his uh, his people around him? That's this one. Click that. My people. See? And I have the one of Pickleball with all the people around it. Okay? And you can do the uh, grid spacing. Try the color again. I don't know. Try it hitting here, me. Yeah. Oh, there. Now you could make the, uh, if you want that, you can make it another color. Okay. Okay, now let's go back up there. This is the grid. Every picture is the same size. See that? Well, that picture you might have to change or get rid of. When you're doing this, you'll get all the tricks. 